Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me as I try to debone a whole chicken. So we start off with a real, with a, a well thawed um, chicken. I like to massage it a little bit as I try to figure out how on earth I'm going to uh, debone this. This is my first time in over 15 years. Uh, in deboning a chicken. So as you can see I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I get a knife, that's my favorite knife, and I'm trying to uh, cut the meat away from the bone. As you can see right there I'm going to use the knife and do that. I try not to use the knife as much as possible so you'll see that I'll try to massage pry break the bone away from the flesh so that's what I'm doing now right now I'm just I've kind of cut it a little and I'm going to try to pull the bone away from the flesh try to pry it off it is a little violent not not like action violent but it is a bit you know aggressive as I so if you're a vegan I should have said that if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you're anti meat eating this is not a video for you you should have stopped from before so I'm just trying to you know get the bone away from the flesh and that will be what I do for the next 20 or so minutes so enjoy watching as I try to make this look really neat and clean but this is meat so it's gonna look a little messy okay so I got a piece of the bone off and now I'm trying to go back. I'm cutting around the um, through the breastplate as, as best as possible. And I'm going to think I'm at this point I'm going to pull out a bone, a piece of bone after vigorously, vigorously <laughs> trying to get it, get it away from the flesh. Um, it takes a while. Uh, I remember the first time I tried to do this. The first time I dis did this, I was in high school, and I think it was Best Dressed Chicken used to p send out these flyers with recipes, and there was one on deboning chicken, and I tried it. After that, I think I did it two times. So in total, this will be my uh, fourth time deboning a chicken. And this one is the first in over, I'm going to say 15, 20 years. So, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. We are almost there. Almost, okay. It's taking a while. If you have never deboned a chicken, please do not be intimidated by what's going on. You can start with a half a chicken and um, just try to uh, carve around the bone. And as you get more and more comfortable, you can try to not make as many cuts into the flesh as possible. You'll see that I try not to cut the skin at all. All the cutting is done on the inside. It's not like anyone is going to be going through the inside of the chicken to verify how neatly it was done. The point is for the outside to look intact. So I'm just at this point I think I am trying to cut still on the I'm, I'm still working on the breast area. Oh I got a piece of bone. <laughs> okay I'm just trying really hard. Whatever I can pull off I'm gonna pull off and tear through. Be careful when you're doing this you don't want to get cut by the bones. I never got cut. I was fine, uh, even though I did handle the knife a little precariously, but it was fine. I was fine. The chicken wasn't fine, but I was fine. And there I am, trying so hard to cut through that chicken. Okay. Wow, this is taking a long time. But we'll get there. Um, what I like about deboning a chicken, other than the fact that I actually do like um, preparing meats, uh, I don't have issues with that. Uh, I just like that there's so many varieties, uh, you know, there are various ways of 
preparing d food and you don't always have to have the bone in. I'm not a big fan of eating or chewing on a bone um, but I do like baking a whole chicken because it's very simple. You season it, you let it marinate for a while, you stick it in the oven, you make a sauce or a baste for it, boom, you're done. Oh, I'm think, I think I'm going to get this bone out. Okay, we are, oh man, this is taking a while. Look at this, look at this, look at the fight, look at the fight, and I'm going to pry it out. Oh, nope, not yet. I'm going in, I'm cutting around it, carving it. As, yeah, almost, almost. Back again with the knife. Mm, this is hard. This reminds me of when I went to the dentist uh, in Japan and uh, I was pulling my wisdom teeth. I think I pulled three of them. And I think the last one was a little difficult for my vet. As a vet. <laughs> for my dentist. And um, man, he was really trying to pull my teeth out. My tooth. It was one at a time. So um, and he was like, oh, you're your tooth your well he said your teeth are so strong I'm like yeah I would hope if they were coming out really easily then that would be a bad thing I'm not quite sure how easy it was for him to get people's teeth out of their head but no you need to work to get my teeth okay so now I decided to give up on the breastplate and I'm going to try to pull well, maybe I did get the breast out anyway the bones out so now I am trying to get the back and because that's a lot that's mostly skin uh, there's not much flesh. It's a little, it's a little thinner, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I did not cut the skin, guys. Believe me, that chicken stayed whole. The outside looks nice. Um, well, I mean, it's not a pretty chicken, but you know, the outside stayed in. The skin was intact. There I am, massaging it, try to coax the flesh off it, pulling, twisting, you know. I'm kind of I work my fingers along the bone to kind of get the flesh off, pushing, pushing, pushing. There it is. Now I'm using the knife to to kind of just push the flesh back, cutting around. This is the dullest knife ever, seriously. Don't do not work with dull knives. These can cause cuts and accidents because you're trying so hard. Um, but it's a, the smallest knife I had that I felt comfortable using. Oh yeah, I got I got the um the thigh bone out and I'm working on the leg bone or was that the leg bone and this is the thigh we're working on the leg bone um yeah just kind of pushing the flesh back trying to get the the arm um, soft oh, I forget what you call that one it's not we call it grizzle in Jamaica I'm not quite sure that's what it's called but I'm literally googling it now the grizzle <laughs> it is not whoa not the grizzle sorry um, we don't call it the grizzle then what do we call it I don't rem I don't remember but you know that part cartilage cartilage right so I'm cut trying to cut yeah good I got that one then I work on the next thigh the next leg legs and th leg and thigh but um, I think I kind of skipped over this so because it's the same process work my fingers through between the bone and the flesh use the knife to cut around carve around it it's back and forth it's a bit of a battle eventually I get it and it's done and we are happy and the crowd goes wild I'm way ahead of what's going on in the video but yeah I saw when you see me twisting the leg like that or it, I'm just trying to break the bone actually without being too violent and damaging the flesh inside too much and there I am pushing the flesh back cutting the cartilage away without without listen without even cutting the tip of the leg I want that to stay intact seriously I really hate the idea of cutting up carving up the chicken before it's cooked so I really try my best to to um, leave the outside intact or as intact as I possibly can so there it is I'm trying really hard. I really thought I had just skipped over this oh, wow I wondered so long it was actually a 40 almost a 50 minute video and I just skipped and sped up some things because who wants to sit for an hour watching someone do this okay now I'm gonna work on the backbone again there it is Fun fact, in Jamaica, we love 
curried chicken back now it's really hard to get good chicken back they pretty much strip the back of all flesh the point is when like i remember when i was young we used to get chicken back at the at the store at the the local shops and it was meaty and uh you know you're poor and you go buy some chicken back even the rich people liked it i'm pretty sure because it's the best tasting part you cut that up you put some potatoes and carrots you season it up you make your curry chicken or curried chicken and that was delicious like i mean most jamaicans who lived abroad when they came back they were like i need to get some curry chicken curried chicken so but now when you go to the supermarket or even to the shop and you ask for uh, chicken back it's it just looks like a dead carcass it doesn't look like they should be selling it okay i got a piece of bone off working it working it working it they strip it of most of the flesh so that's so it's not really much value anymore and it's expensive so even if you're poor it used to be for poor people now even if you're poor it's hard to to get chicken back or it's it's difficult to afford it okay and got a piece of bone i hate seeing like bits of and pieces of the chicken so that's why i sometimes will be taking up little scraps off the I don't even want to call this a cutting board. It's like a cutting mat. Oh, I got the back. Yeah, work it, girl. Yeah, still have another piece left. Gonna work that. Pull it off. Gonna go from the other, the other end. Yeah, get that scrap off. Okay, from the neck, I'm gonna try to see now. Getting flesh off the neck is almost like, like why bother? okay but I really worked hard at getting that neck out uh, this one was also a, a chore so let's see yeah work yeah just I'm just pretty much just call it that I'm cutting the skin off the off the neck the neck bone because there's not much flesh there and then I'm gonna have to try to pry it off massage it off pull it away from the skin okay I don't know what that was about okay dramatic effect <laughs> right so working it working it working it eventually I'm gonna pop it off twist it out pull it out I think you'll see this one I'm not quite sure okay come on taking a long time if I hadn't shortened this guys you'd fall asleep seriously right so please do not judge the way I'm doing this like I said I haven't done this in a while um, and I just decided one day that ah, I want to debone a chicken I bought the chicken I had it in the fridge for a while and then I decided to do it and record it so this was not even planned it was more like oh I got the chicken I want to debone it because I have some time let's get to it so I'm happy that there were no accidents or major mistakes yeah I'm gonna pull it out now okay almost there almost there come on oh, the suspense is killing me seriously seriously do you notice that the well maybe you can't see so clearly but the skin has not been broken all the damage is inside all the ugliness is on the inside which is where it should stay <laughs> and almost about to pull it out well you see how much work that is just pulling as much of the flesh off the bone as possible remember this is the back by the way, you'll see later that I'm going to use the bones uh, to make chicken stock. So, well, you know, after I cut them off, I rinse them off. I pre-rinse my chicken, by the way. Now in Jamaica, we cook, we wash our chicken. So the chicken was uh, was washed before, and that I mean just rinse water and lime, lime water. So I wash the chicken off in that. And after I'm done, yeah, we are done. Yay. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I have to now take the drumettes off. That's the um, the wing that looks like the part of the wing that looks like a, a drumstick or the leg of the chicken. So 
I think here I try to massage the flesh off the bone. I may have also used a knife to kind of just cut the cartilage away or cut, cut the flesh away from the cartilage so it's easier. Uh, wow. But um, the wing was not <laughs> was not a part that I really wanted to, f to deal with. So anyway, I get the drumettes off. You guys might may be wondering why I didn't cut that little scrap that was hanging at the bottom, like the, um, you know, the fat. I like chicken fat to stay on my chicken. If I don't, if it's not, if I don't leave it to stay on the chicken, I fry the fat. This may be a, this is probably a Caribbean thing, a Southern thing. I'm pretty sure they do it in the South in the U.S. You don't waste things. So I try, I would either fry the fat to make oil. So I can cook my food, man, food, whatever it is, or I keep it because it's not that important. You just tuck that in, and nobody's going to be, you know. And I was doing this for myself, so it didn't really matter. Yeah, work in the next part. Oh, did I miss what happened? Yeah. So now what I'm doing? Okay, I think soon I'll get it off. I try to get all the bones out. So, yeah, Dollar's knife in Jamaica. Seriously. Um, I try to get all the little bones so the shoulder blade you saw I took out a piece and you'll see me take out I think one more uh, so you don't want bits of bones but I did leave uh, the wings the, the um the drumettes I took out but the flats and the tip I left those in because I was not going to spend another this took me about an hour to do not that I was working at it diligently but it took me an hour it took a while. Uh, I want to try it again. I may try it again and do it better on on and post the video. Uh, right. So like I said, I'm not gonna bother with the with the wing really. Just the drumettes. Working on that one. Cut away the flesh. Work on it. Pry it. Twist it. Massage the meat up. Push my finger between the bone and the flesh. Just work that, work that. Mm. That knife is so dull. So dull. I need to find a, 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 f a file to sharpen my knife. I think we have one. I just need to do it. I, d I only notice that it's dull when I'm using it. And sometimes I'm like, I can't be bothered to, to sharpen it. But I'm going to have to, or else I'm going to end up cutting myself or stabbing myself. Chicken is done. Okay, chicken and the bones separated. Uh, I think the, the video doesn't show this, but I did wash the chicken again, and the bones were washed, tidied up, and the bones are going to be put in a pot to make stock. Chicken is nice. Look at that. Ooh, she's done. She's almost like dough. There. So there is the preparation for the stock. The bones are in it. I uh, put a lime, uh, scotch bonnet, pepper, garlic, I think, and a piece of onion. Uh, there are pimento or all sp all all spice seeds, salt, and I think that was it. And I let that boil for low heat. I let it um, simmer or boil for. I forgot how long. Yeah, I mean, I made sure the meat was cooked. Okay, now we're going to make the seasoning for the uh, deboned chicken. So salt. Um, next was, this was a very simple seasoning. I, I, I like my seasoning to be simple. I don't want too many, too much powdered stuff. Next, I put some oil. This is coconut oil. I don't like putting too, too much powdered stuff. You know, I want... If the if if the meat is oh, soy sauce, Kikoman, Kikoman is my favorite since being back because it's similar to the Japanese soy sauce or as close to it as I can get right now. I was living in Japan for a while, and so I'm used to the soy sauce there, and so I want to stick with what I'm familiar with or used to. Jerk seasoning. Uh, this is the cheapest jerk seasoning I could find in Jamaica. When I came back, I was like. Uh, these things are expensive and so I'm like well this is locally made let me try it and I'm not disappointed I'm fine with it I wouldn't say it's exceptional and it certainly isn't bad so that's about a tablespoon of jerk seasoning 
um, I put about two teaspoons of oil I'm gonna put more actually you'll see later and uh, it was about a, mm, a teaspoon a teaspoon or a little over a teaspoon of salt I didn't put a lot of salt uh, garlic and scotch bonnet peppers yes just use one though the brown one which is supposed to be hot it wasn't really that hot uh, more pimento seeds yep okay got it and I yeah there it is so all of these are going to be put in and on the chicken and the lime funny thing is I didn't really use the lime in this one so I'm gonna cut up I'm gonna cut up the garlic put the pimento oh, here comes the extra oil yes okay more garlic and I think at this point not yet <laughs> not yet okay oh that's where I put the lime I was wondering I couldn't remember right so lime juice you know lime actually acts as um, it will cook the chicken so as soon as I put this on the chicken I put it in the freezer so that's my marinade uh, I think at this point oh here comes the oil now add a little bit more oil so I'd say that I put maybe about a tablespoon of oil in this I when I'm cooking for myself unless I'm do using a new recipe oh this okay uh, these are some herbs this is a herb um, that I got while I was in Japan and I really liked it because um, you can you you kind of ground grind it it has a grinder so there it is world of seasoning but you know you can use anything I had the lemon I had um, I think barbecue American barbecue and French and I think the one I'm using is the American barbecue okay put the marinade on it you're probably wondering hey what about the pimento don't worry it will be used just give me a minute or two so just put it on to massage it on top mm -hmm. put some more this is now the the other side of the chicken there we are massage that on it was so soft guys because there's no bone in it and then I'm gonna pour it on the inside or the cavity of the chicken yeah don't need to mess with that it's already in there and okay now you see what you'll see what I'm gonna do with the pimento of course when you when you're handling chicken you have to be very careful about cross-contamination so as much as I can I wash my hands if because it's so messy right now so I washed my hands with soap came back and did the rest okay working on the garlic got two pegs of garlic believe me you can use as much as you want I just didn't have a lot of garlic like I said this was like spur of the moment okay and I'm gonna I think cut the garlic in half just give me a second to do what I'm doing okay yeah believe me the other day I cooked some chicken was it was a chicken I cooked something and I was like lots and lots of um, of garlic I love garlic I love cooking with garlic and I'm gonna <coughs> sorry put some of the oh yeah there's the pepper I'm just gonna take the stem off and when did I what did I I think yeah take the stem off and that's going to be used okay just ground uh, ground some of the seasoning on top like it makes a big difference and it doesn't really like that it would be perfect if I were about to do it now and then you have it uh, bake it in the oven and then it will really it would really taste nice because it would caramelize because it's still kind of fresh on it anyway cut the garlic in half or the garlics in half 
and I'm going to put them in the cavity of the chicken garlic garlic scotch bonnet pepper pimento seeds and that's it very simple very very simple you mean you can make it as extravagant as you want but I like to I don't like to overdo my seasoning because the star is supposed to be the food not the seasoning it shouldn't be like you're eating the food and you're like oh wow this seasoning is delicious the chicken should be delicious or the meat whatever it is so the the seasoning it's supposed to enhance the dish not overpower it so I'm I'm pretty I'm a big person on allowing the the dish the meal the ingredient not the main ingredient rather to be the star so chicken the chicken is gonna go in the the um, freezer bag any brand you want and this let it marinate so actually I put this in the freezer and I had it in there for about a week uh, and I baked it so I didn't I didn't bake it the same day not even in the, in the same week um, as, as the video or when I shot the video as so I'm just gonna stick that in the in the um, bag trying not to drip all over the counter and um, yeah that's pretty much it so the stock is being made it's boiling and the chicken oh and the stock when I made when I made the um, when I baked the chicken and I made us gravy because you know in Jamaica we need our gravy I used some of the chicken stock and I believe it was really good okay so seal that baby up and stick it in the oven thank you so much for watching don't forget to don't forget to subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you guys ciao